And today I'm talking about how to stay oriented during a project or a particularly busy time and stay out of overwhelm while you do it. Um, you know, when you have that giant list of things to do and multiple projects to manage and so many tasks, especially around this holiday season, it can feel like so much pressure. I just got to keep going. I got to hurry up and get these things done. I'm tired, but I need to do more and more and more. And it gets overwhelming. And it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but it's not true that hurrying up and doing more is going to get you the results you're looking for. Really, what you want to do when you start feeling overwhelmed is to pause. Just stop. You want to create that just enough space for your brain to rewind a little bit, get reoriented, and remember what your desired outcome is so that you can feel more satisfied when you do get things done on the list. It's no more hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's, oh, I've got some things to do. I'm going to do them in this order, and um, I'm going to do them in this way. And some of them I don't need to do at all. And at the end, you end up feeling more satisfied because you were more in control of the situation. Um, you were making decisions uh, based on your desired outcome instead of just reacting to what's coming up. So just think about it this way. When you are traveling somewhere and you just keep driving and driving and driving and you make a wrong turn and you just keep driving you're not going to end up where you wanted to go. What you have to do is kind of pause and, and, and retrace some steps and get back to where you were actually trying to go, right? So that's the same as this. Um, it's about staying on course, staying, working towards those desired outcomes. And it's really interesting that as we do things, the need to do other things can change. We have different information. Things have changed. Other people's involvements or their inputs have changed. And so we may not need to do some of the things you're about to hurry up and do. And then you feel mad and resentful that you didn't know you didn't need to do those things anymore. But it's on you because you didn't pause and reevaluate and reorient about where you were in the project. So it's really interesting. Some things aren't going to be relevant anymore. Some things may have popped up that are relevant and need to be addressed. But when you just put your head down and you keep going and going and going, you don't notice that you're working on the wrong things. So it's a great reminder to pause and look at your list. Reevaluate it. Actually cross things off that you actually kind of did on the fly and didn't remember to check off. Actually look at what new things came in and then reprioritize them in terms of relevance, what's already um, been done that changed the fact that you need to do it at all. Um, Reevaluate it and reorient based on what's relevant and essential to work on and what would merely be nice if it could happen. And that way you have two tiers of get the essential done first and then add the sprinkles and the cherries and the whipped cream, if you will. But know where, what can be let go of. Knowing what to let go of is just as important as working on what you have to do, what's essential. So by pausing and actually looking at your list every once in a while in relation to the bigger picture of what you were trying to achieve, you can have a smoother, easier, quicker way through the list of things to do. It also allows you to see which of the things might make it unnecessary to do some of the other things. Um, it's uh, in the book, Essentialism. What can you do now that will make something else unnecessary? It's a great way to look at your list and keep moving forward and feel really um satisfied and fulfilled at the end of the day because you're working towards something instead of just working, working, busy work, busy work, busy work. So as you pause and look at your list, just take a deep breath and begin again from where you are now because it's different than when you made the list. And if you want more of these kinds of tips and insights about how to review and reorient and plan for the next steps, you can join the um, 
review and plan acceleration day that's coming up on Friday. Um, and you can find all the details about that at morethanorganized.net slash workshops. There's a sign up form and details there. So I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell all your friends, share this video, um, and let me know what you think. Have a delightful day.